G'day Mick from Zeg Reels Australia here. In this video I will cover how to use trigger actions to give notifications to your phone or control the operation of the grill. On the home page click on this temperature tile to open up the manage grill screen. Let's start by understanding what trigger actions are. The trigger action can either be at the end of a countdown or once a food probe temperature exceeds a certain setting for at least one minute. There are four actions that can be taken once the trigger condition is met. Sending a notification to your phone, shutting down the grill, keeping the grill warm at about 80 degrees C, or setting the grill target temperature and at lower temperatures also the smoke level. Countdown and food probe temperature based actions can both be used. However, shutdown and keep warm can only be assigned to one trigger at a time. Let's learn how to use the countdown timers. Start by clicking on the countdown icon and then add countdown. You can adjust the hours and the minutes. In this case, we'll do a one minute. Click on next and we can do keep warm, which will maintain the temperature of the grill at around 80 degrees Celsius. Confirm. We can see now the countdown is showing here. Let's add some additional countdowns. So we can click on add countdown and then two minutes and we'll set a target temperature in this case set a low temperature so we can also set the smoke set it 100 and then low and confirm now if we click back in we'll see we've got number one active and countdown two is waiting so now the target temperature has changed to 80 and the keep warm logo is red which means that it's going to try and maintain the temperature at around 80 degrees C. You can also see that countdown 2 is now displayed here because countdown 1 is finished, countdown 2 is active. We can add up to four countdowns. We'll do another one and we'll do another change in the temperature. So we'll do 125 and then we can add a fourth one, which is to shut down the grill. We'll do this one a little bit longer. Click on next and then shut down the grill. Confirm. At any time, if we want to get rid of these countdowns, we can just click on delete all countdowns. Confirm. And then if we click back in, we can start again. Now let's use the food probes to complete actions. If you haven't already, feel free to click on a probe and give it a name, pork and you can also change its color as well. So to set a trigger action, just click on the tile, set trigger and action, and then you want to set the temperature above which the trigger will occur. The temperature must be above this level for one minute before the trigger will occur. So let's go uh, keep warm, scroll down and confirm. You can see the icon has changed here and it has that trigger temperature there. Do the same for P2. And we'll set this one uh, a little bit higher to 60 degrees and we'll set a notification. You can see the icon here is different. This is the bell notification icon and this is the keep warm icon. These will trigger once and then the uh, icon here and the temperature will disappear. To delete, just click, click on the set trigger action and then click on the X here to clear the action. You can also receive notifications if the grill temperature goes above or below set levels. Just tap on the bell icon, set the above temperature and or below temperature, and you can turn on one or both and click on done. We can see here the below arrow 77, the above arrow 134. Once it goes above the temperature for one minute or below this temperature for one minute, the notification will be sent to your system. So you'll get a pop-up and then it'll turn off. So it only triggers once. If you've got multiple trigger actions set like we do here, you can clear them all in one go by going to the grill settings, clicking on reset. And then once they refresh with the server, take a few seconds, they will all be cleared out. So that's a faster way than going through and individually deleting them. 